In this presentation, we will be giving our investment thesis for Cassava Sciences, and all materials are as of July 19th, 2021. This presentation has been prepared for informational purposes only and does not constitute an offer to sell or a solicitation to purchase any security. The contents of this presentation are not intended to provide investment advice, and under no circumstance does this presentation represent a recommendation to buy or sell a security. This information contained herein reflects the opinions of the presenter as of the date hereof. This is a generational opportunity for investors. Let's set the stage for why we believe Cassava Sciences is such a great opportunity with our key points. This is a massive market and the current valuation underappreciates just how large a role cassava is set to play in Alzheimer's. The problem is getting worse with no treatments currently available that modify the disease. For years, drugs have failed to slow the course of Alzheimer's, but there's renewed optimism and attention on Alzheimer's following the controversial approval of Adjuhelm in June of 2021. Simifilam aims to treat AD at the root cause and has a mechanism of action that science would suggest will have a lasting impact. At the AAIC conference on July 29th, Cassava will be the first company to ever show improvement of cognition at nine months. We believe Cassava will follow the historic results with historic 12-month results in September. Remy Barbier can hardly contain his excitement. He's the most bullish CEO we've ever encountered, but he has the data to back it up. Look at this quote from Remy Barbier, at a B. Riley neuroscience conference. This is the talk of a CEO that knows what data his company possesses. Remy Barbier believes that breakthrough therapy designation is possible, which would be a massive catalyst for cassava. We believe shares of cassava are worth more than five times the current trading price. Cassava has a litany of catalysts remaining in 2021, with the AAIC nine-month readout on July 29th, the 12-month cognition data in September, and the commencement of the two phase three trials in the second half of 2021. Alzheimer's has become our largest unmet medical need. This section is intended to visualize just how big of a problem Alzheimer's has become. Joe Biden had this to say on May 27th, Alzheimer's is a grave problem that world leaders recognize must be addressed. Per the World Health Organization, over 50 million worldwide have dementia, and they estimate that 60 to 70 percent of those cases are Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's Disease International believes that there will be approximately 152 million Alzheimer's cases by 2050. Given that Alzheimer's is the sixth leading cause of death for all adults, it's obvious how massive of an issue Alzheimer's has become. Alzheimer's is not just a domestic problem, as you can see. Alzheimer's is a global issue that is set to increasingly grow out of control without medical intervention. Anavis Bio highlights here that we're losing the fight against Alzheimer's disease while we have made substantial progress in other critical medical issues. Alzheimer's is 100% fatal, and before death, it robs people of who they are. Alzheimer's is a $1 trillion problem. Not only does it have an immense cost on patients, but it also costs caregivers billions of hours in time and lost wages due to the overwhelming time necessary to take care of Alzheimer's patients. Acetylcholinesterase inhibitors have been the only treatment option in Alzheimer's for the last 20 years, with 8 out of 10 patients starting on this class of drugs. The problem is that these drugs don't really work and come with horrific side effects. Patients can expect the drug to provide symptomatic benefit for approximately six months before their body stops responding to the drug. To add, many patients simply stop using the drug due to the side effects, as evidenced by nearly 30% of patients discontinuing use by the fourth month. Big Pharma has researched this class of drugs to the tune of billions of dollars spent with questionable results at best. These drugs target clearing something called amyloid plaque, which develops in the brain and is correlated with Alzheimer's and ultimately the fatality of the disease. While the thesis was strong, years of failed testing indicates that this is not the correct approach. It appears we need something that addresses Alzheimer's disease at the root cause. Additionally, this class of drugs comes with some serious challenges. These drugs have to be administered intravenously, carry a cost of over $50,000 a year, and have extremely troubling side effects, such as brain swelling and microhemorrhages, which is bleeding in the brain. The FDA recently approved Biogen's amyloid plaque drug, Adahelm, 
in June 2021 to much controversy. This drug has questionable efficacy, known side effects, and a startling cost of $56,000 a year. While troubled by the decision, the FDA has clearly lowered the bar for FDA approval in Alzheimer's. However, there is hope for a better drug on the way in cassava science's simifilam. Simifilam is the culmination of over a decade of research. Wildly different than the drugs that came before it, simifilam is a small molecule drug that patients will take orally twice a day. Most drugs target either neurodegeneration or neuroinflammation. Simifilam is uniquely different because its mechanism of action targets both. Misfolded proteins are considered to be a cause of Alzheimer's disease and what leads to abnormal function. Shape equals function, and by restoring the proper shape of the protein with simifilam, there's belief that Alzheimer's can be modified permanently. Simifilam has consistently shown stellar safety results throughout clinical testing. So far, we've only seen drugs that can provide benefits for a small period of time. Simifilam is completely different and is focused on changing the course of this horrific disease. Simifilam has shown an improvement in cognition for patients in clinical testing. Cassava will be providing an update on nine-month cognition results on July 29th. Our belief is that cassava sciences will make history to be the first to show improvement of cognition at both nine and 12 months. Additionally, Alzheimer's is a disease of biomarkers, and simifilam improved all relevant 11 biomarkers in a phase 2b study. Cassava will be presenting six-month results on the same 11 biomarkers on July 29th. Simifilam is a better product with better data and a better value than Biogen's Adjuhome and Lilly's Donanumab. Would you rather take a pill twice per day or get an IV every month that is going to cause serious side effects and cost a fortune? In summary, no other drug has been this consistent with its cognition data, safety data, and biomarker data, making it a true leader in the Alzheimer's field. These two quotes from Remy Barbier speak optimism for the future results of simifilam. Cassava is a data-driven business. Valuation of life sciences companies is not subject to a great deal of precision, so we used four different methodologies to create a valuation range. As you can see, our lowest estimate is approximately $517 per share, with the top of our range being $1,600 per share. Additionally, the range given doesn't even include multiple free billion dollar call options. Can you imagine what this company would be worth if everyone older than 40 was taking Simifilam prophylactically? The market believes that this drug could create nearly $14 billion in revenue at its peak, and even that number may be conservative. Simifilam has all the makings of a blockbuster drug. The points below highlight why we are so confident in Cassava's upcoming data readouts. No company has shown this consistency, and Cassava has a unique mechanism of action that aims to address Alzheimer's at the source. For next steps, Cassava Sciences has a litany of data readouts and the commencement of Phase 3 trials in 2021. As results continue to validate simifilam, we believe the FDA will grant Cassava breakthrough therapy designation, which will lead to a material appreciation in the stock price.